All right, we're going to work with this example. We're going to find the bearing of a boat. So imagine a boat leaves the entrance to a harbor. So here is the harbor. And travels 25 miles on a bearing north 42 degrees east. So here is the distance the boat goes at 25 miles and the direction here is the north-south line heading 42 degrees to the east. The figure shows that the captain then turns at 90 degrees on a clockwise direction and goes another 18 miles. And that bearing is in the south 48 degrees east. Part A says, how far is the boat to the nearest tenth of a mile from the harbor? So we want to find out, here's the boat. What is this distance right here? Well, the boat's distance is represented by the length C in the figure. We do know the other two sides in the right triangle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we'll let this be side A and that side B, and then C is that distance the boat is from the harbor. So we substitute in the A value and the B value. We square those numbers and we get 949. Then we would square root 949 to get that C value to be about 30.8 miles. So how far is the boat to the nearest tenth of a mile? About 30.8 miles. So let's go ahead and put that here. 30.8 miles. Part B says, what is the bearing to the nearest tenth of a degree of the boat from the harbor? So the bearing of the boat from the harbor means that the bearing from the harbor to the entrance. So we're going to look at that north-south line. So I'm just going to change colors here. Here is our north-south line. And then here is our north-south line. And we want to find out this boat and its direction to the origin, which is the harbor. So we're going to look for the acute angle from this line to the ray which is going to be 42 degrees. So here's 42 degrees plus our little angle theta. So I'll probably highlight here for you. So you want to take out what's this angle here and that angle there. What is the addition of those two angles? So we need to find theta. So I'm just going to draw a new picture Of our triangle. So here is where the boat turned at 90 degrees. Here's the boat sitting down here. Here's the harbor. And we want this angle theta. So this distance was 18 miles and that distance was 25 miles. And we want to find out 
what is this angle theta? So we're going to identify 18 is side opposite in this right triangle and 25 is side adjacent. So we're going to choose the trig function for the tangent. The tangent of the angle is side opposite over adjacent. So now substitute in what we know. Side opposite is 18 miles. Side adjacent is 25 miles. Well, we need to use inverse trig to find the angle measure. So we're going to say theta equals the tangent inverse. And now you substitute that ratio in. And now we get to use our calculator. So you want to make sure the calculator is in degree mode. So when you type it in, you get an angle that is about 35.8 degrees. So this is this angle right here. Now let's go back up to the image. There's a lot of stuff happening here, so I'm just going to erase this stuff. So you can see what we're working with. If it lets me. Okay. So we just found this angle theta of 35.8 degrees. And we know that angle is 42 degrees. So we're going to add those two angles together to get the direction that this boat sitting over here is going. So we're going to take north, add those two angle measures, and then the direction that it's going is east. So let's add those up. So the direction that that boat is going, the two of them, is you're going to take your 42 degrees plus your angle theta, which is 77.8 degrees. So we go back up. This angle right here is 77.8 degrees. Now we can write the bearing. So from the north, 77.8 degrees heading east.